ladies and gentlemen, Al Yankovic. You are um, straight out of Linwood. Yes. Um, California. Yes. Linwood is adjacent to Compton. Yeah, I, I went to the same high school that Suge Knight went to. Is that true? That, that is true. Did he ever, like, dangle you from a window, or did that never came to Not at the same, we didn't go at the same time. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have. Oh, okay. Can we sort of do the Al Yankovic origin story? Because it seems like you were a shy kid. You were not like the class clown. You know, a lot of, <laughs> this to the contrary, I mean, I'm a pretty shy person. Of, uh, You know, I, I, I feel like I'm pretty withdrawn socially in most occasions, and that's a, a part of my personality that, like, being a recording artist has, has you know, made, made a little bit better. I'm a little bit more comfortable in social situations now. But, yeah, I, I grew up as a very uh, awkward kid, uh, and was always, and which is, I think, one of the reasons why in my freshman year in college, people would see me in the college dorms and go, oh, that's just Weird Al. <laughs> you make it look easy. The accordion looks like a very difficult instrument. Is it really hard? It, it is, uh, apparently. I mean, I started very young, so you know, the synapses are more flexible when you're that age. Yeah. You can learn foreign languages, and you can learn the accordion. Right. You know, and I learned when I was uh, teaching Daniel Radcliffe for something that he did with me. Uh, <laughs> t t teaching a, a person over the age of 30 how to play the accordion is, is not as easy, because there's a lot going on. You're playing the, uh, uh, basically a piano keyboard on one hand and random buttons on the other, and you have to be moving bellows at the same time and possibly even singing. So it's a lot of, like, you know, this kind of... I can't <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. The the one I guess that that really sort of went to the next level was was eat it. Yes. And and um, we need to also discuss food and the role that this because I'm writing my PhD dissertation on the role of food in the work of Al Yankovic, but <laughs> Do you, have you thought about it too much? Or? It was, no, it was, it was kind of a financial decision early on because I figured, I talked to my accountant about this, I, if I wrote a lot of songs about food, I could write off my grocery bill on, <laughs> on my taxes. I want to talk a little bit about um, that video because you worked with Michael Jackson's actual choreographer, the guy, the yes. person who choreographed Michael Jackson in the Beat It video? Yes, Vince Patterson. So, you well, he, I don't think he actually was my choreographer, but he did appear in the video. So your moves, did you have a choreographer or was that all you? Yeah, no, that was, I believe that was Eddie Betos. You mm -hmm. know Eddie. Um, yeah, he's my choreographer as well. Like that whole, when I walked out on stage, that was all Eddie's work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't come up with that. I want to discuss your dancing because you've said that you're not a good dancer. No. And I beg to differ, because I think of your genre, which is ridiculous dancing, <laughs> I think you're like the Rudolf Nureyev. <laughs> I, I can flail pretty well. I mean, I don't, I have no shame. That's the whole joke, because I'm, I'm uh, you know, this totally uncoordinated, goofy white guy trying to be Michael Jackson. So that is the inherent joke. I mean, I'm 100% 100, 100 committed to the bit and, uh, and trying really as hard as I can to look good. And just that is funny. You've had tremendous longevity in the business. And, it, and you, you really, your success has in many ways grown and gotten bigger over the years. I, I was kind of thinking that careers have a bell curve. Like my first album did okay, my second album did really well, third album also did really well, and the fourth album not so well. And I thought, okay, I've crested, I'm on my way to obscurity, and I'll just ride this as long as I can, but you know, my, my, uh, you know, my record selling days are pretty much over, I guess. And then the next album after that was even worse, which I think at the time was even my, maybe my most popular to date. So right. it, it took me a while before I realized that there, there's in a, in a long career, there's quite a few peaks and valleys. And I, I convinced myself not to get too depressed when you're in a valley and not too right. full of yourself when you're at a peak. Do you have any inspiring words for the future accordion players of America? <laughs> I've, heard that, I've heard that you want to bring sexy back to the accordion. Yes, Is that I, true? and I think I've done that. Um, <laughs> I, I just, I think there, we have a long way to go, though. I think accordion music will someday dominate Western civilization. So there's a lot of work yet to be done. So good luck. What's your hair care routine? Okay. What shampoo People do you People want to know that. Um, my, my stock answer is I just use whatever's in the shower. I mean, I, I don't have brand loyalty. So whatever my wife puts in there, I'll use. How have you been able to keep your band together for so long? Have there been times when you worried you wouldn't be able to keep them? How have you done it, Al? Uh, I pay them. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. good night. <laughs>